Hey, what's going on everyone? x this here and welcome back to another Reset Day Loot video. Today, I managed to do a load of Raid Vaults. I wanted to do um, loads of PvP this week and, you know, a ton of content, but I just didn't have the time this week, unfortunately. But we did do a load of Raid Vaults, which is good. So we've done some raids on my Warlock, did some on my Warrior my paladin and my priest but we're going to kick today's video off on my priest here since he did the lowest reward and then we'll work my way up onto my main i just want to say if you enjoyed today's video smash that like button comment down below let me know what you get from the great vault and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out my social media links in the description down below but let's do this Alright everyone, just a quick reminder, I do in fact have a community on EU for Alliance and Horde that you can obviously join if you want to. Um, it's just a community where we can hang out and socialise and everything like that. If you just go on the community, find it in WoW, if you're on the EU servers obviously, type in x Rathus community or x Rathus. that should work. And then select your roles and everything and it should appear. It's on auto accept so anyone can join if you want to do that. And obviously go and do so but we're on our priest right now our loot spec is set to shadow we are currently 393 item level with our pve gear and 421 in pvp which is good but i mean i managed to do one lfr vault this week which is unfortunate i wanted to get normal done on my priest um, and i also wanted to do pvp but i just didn't have the time unfortunately right um so i'm not really sure what we need um, in terms of gear and stuff. I guess what I'm hoping for today on all of my characters is just tier. That's why I did, um, you know, raid. Just so we have a chance of getting tier. Um, it was quick and easy to do it, which is nice. But, um, yeah, I'm just hoping for some tier so we can obviously get two set and then four set and everything like that. So, let's open this up and see what we get. I only did one Alifar vault though. So, the chance of getting tier. you kidding me? What the? I was just about to say the chances of getting tier are so slim. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we actually got tier. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? I'll take that 100%. Nice. But the only problem with that is it's Raid Finder. Um, so it's only 405 item level. And obviously the PvP gear, the Honor gear, is 437 if I recall correctly. Um, do, 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 let me check. Uh, do I have any on a gear on this character? Yeah, there we go. It's um, 437 in PvP, and these gods are only um, these new gods I just got are only 405. So maybe I won't use them in PvP. Huh? I don't know. We'll obviously have to see. Maybe um, four sets like absolutely insane. So I have no idea. But hey, at least we got some gloves. We can use those for PVE, and if we want to, maybe we can use them for PvP. I'll obviously have to see. But we're gonna go onto my paladin now. Let's do this. Alright, I'm on my pardon right now. Our loot spec is set to Retribution. We're currently 401 item level with our PvE gear and 437 in PvP. I've literally just been doing epic battlegrounds and brawls and random battlegrounds on all of my characters to gear that like to get the honor gear. It's such a shame because I thought honor resets every season. I thought that was the case, and obviously Congress and Valor and stuff reset. But I thought honor also reset. I googled it and I swear it said it does. So I ended up, you know, getting loads of um, the season one honor gear. And then, you know, I got that all done. I was like, finally. And then literally the next day, I'm pretty sure it was. I could be wrong. Could have been a couple of days after. But on reset, obviously the new honor gear came out and you were able to keep your honor. And I was like, are you kidding me? I just spent ages farming the honor gear and all that. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. Um... Yeah, 401 item level. We managed to do one normal raid vault this week. So I think it should be like a 415 piece maybe. So I want tier again. That's what I'm looking for right now. But if I do get a PvE piece, like a weapon for example, I'm not going to complain. Um, but yeah, tier. Tier is what I'm after. Okay, a cloak. There we go. That's better than mine. We'll use it. Um, wait, could I upgrade? I think I could upgrade that tier maybe on my priest because all like this gear can be upgraded from the um raid and everything and i'm not sure if tier works the same i could be wrong um if we get another piece of tier we'll obviously have to see but hey ho i got a cloak that's an upgrade um and not too bad what does it look like doesn't look too bad either but we're gonna go on to my warrior now let's do this 
Alright everyone, I'm on my warrior right now. Our loot spec is set to arms. We are currently 44 item level with our PvE gear and 435 in PvP. We have these big, big boots for PvP, which is awesome. Managed to get those and everything. Um, we managed to do one normal raid vault this week. I'm still after tier. Again, that's what I'm after, um, you know, on all of my characters this week. Still not sure if it's a good idea to use um, tier over, like, the big item level um, PvP gear. But we shall obviously have to see. Hopefully I can get some PvP um, tier, though. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take that for PvE, if I want to PvE, I think. Resonate with the power of the Sworn Dragonflight. Granting you 497 secondary stat. Allies sworn to a different Dragonflight gain 58 secondary stat from your resonance. You only may benefit from one resonance per flight. Tune with a nearby Dragonflight Oath Stone in the Dragon Isles. Huh. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a good trinket. It could be absolutely terrible. But it's a new trinket nonetheless. It might be okay for raiding, potentially. Maybe Mythic Plus, if I want to do any of that. I probably um, will do that on my characters, but we'll have to see. Um, that should be better than my 392. Um, I'll obviously have to see, though. But hey-ho, that's a new trinket. Maybe um, tokens would have been better. But we'll have to see how, obviously, that trinket plays out. But we have one character left, which is, in fact, my main, my Warlock. Let's do this. Alright everyone, here we are, I'm on my main, we're on the Winding Slither Drake, I think it's called, absolutely cool looking dragon riding mount, I hope they add more to these to the game in the future, they're really really cool, I'm really hoping, you know, in the future as well, they can add some cool cosmetics to um, the other dragon riding mounts instead of just the Highland Drake, right? Like from um, doing like raiding and stuff. I really hope so. That would be absolutely awesome. Dude, there's a goddamn mammoth thing in my face. But we're here. The great vaults there. We managed to do three normal raid vaults this week. I did try and do PvP, right? I was doing Destro Solo Shuffle, but I ended up queuing literally into just melee teams. The first game I had, I think um, I had like a uh, Arcane Mage on my team or something, and we're against Ret Warrior, and obviously they switch around. And then when I did another game, I was literally into, I think it was Double Warrior and Ret. So, yeah, you can imagine how those games went, unfortunately. And I tried to do some solo shuffle at Affliction last night just to try it out and stuff um, and to try and get a cap, but um, the servers went down and stuff, so I couldn't get any games done. But our loot spec is set to Affliction. We're currently 449 level with our PvE gear, but 436 in PvP. Um, yeah, wait there. Um, I should have a better bout. 424. Uh, my 421 might be better. Um, I could be wrong, but I have this 424 bout if we want to use that for PvE, but I just want tier again. There's loads of pieces I could replace though on this, um, on my main obviously. Um, so we're just going to open up and see what we get. So let's go, man. Hopefully some big tier. Come on. Alright, so we have... We don't have tier unfortunately, but we do have a really good ring. We have this, um... Your attacks and abilities have a chance to grant you um, infer infernal dragon wings or whatever. Um, increasing your crit by 1k, which is actually good. That's really good. And your leaps by 283 for 15 seconds. Call upon Echo of Naltharian's power to crash to the ground below you, dealing 22k shadow flayed damage to nearby enemies if you travelled at least 15 yards. That could actually be a good trinket. That could be one we take. Now, I always, you know, when there's a good trinket... Sometimes, right, I accidentally not uh, like I don't take the trinket, so we might be taking that trinket. I'll have to see how good it is. Or we have this big, big, big haste mastery ring, which I am really eyeing up right now. And then we have this offhand, which is obviously good too, but we just don't have a one handed weapon that goes with it. I don't think, no. So it's between this trinket and this, um. You know, this ring. This is 421 item level, so it's obviously really, really good. I'll have to go and see if this trinket's good. Give me one second. A few moments later. All right, everyone, I'm back. Apparently, this trinket isn't the best one you can get. I think it's only okay. Apparently, from the raid, I think the best trinkets are... If I break down the loot, we go all the way down here. I think this one, the in in 
Genius um, Flowstone, or Igneous, or however you say that. And also, I think this Ominous um, Chromatic Essence, the one we just got on my Warrior. I think those two are the best um, raiding trinkets. And then there's obviously Mythic Plus um, trinkets that are really good. This one didn't seem to, you know, crop up anywhere. No one's really using it from what I've checked and stuff. Um, so I don't think this is the best one. It could be good. I'm sure I'm sure this is really good because it's a 1k crit and 1k crit seems like it's really really decent but I kind of just want to grab this ring because it's haste mastery I think that's what I'm gonna do um now you could be screaming x-ray this no this is not really good um from my understanding I just checked and it doesn't seem like the best trinket I could be wrong my sources of information could be wrong and everything I checked on like IC veins and other and um, websites that I use I checked multiple websites and apparently it's just like an okay trinket i think so we grabbed um grab this ring today um that might be bad but we'll obviously have to see i might honestly just replace this onyx annulet um and just upgrade this ring and upgrade this ring maybe that might be good but for now i'll just replace this 411 and we shall do that but guys really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave a like comment down below let me know what you got from the great vault this week can't believe i managed to get tier on my priest that's absolutely awesome i still need to do um, a ton of content and um, to get some tier on my other characters and stuff but i'm happy nonetheless and um, with today's reset day loop video and everything if you enjoyed it Leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my social media links in the description down below and have yourself a really nice day. I've been x Rathus. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So, peace!